The United States Marine Corps has built a reputation for being one of the world's most elite fighting forces. As one of the smaller yet most recognized branches of the U.S. military, the Marine Corps has a wide variety of career fields for its Marines. But when the average person thinks of a Marine, chances are they are thinking of a Marine in the Marine Infantry. The Marine Infantry is one of the world's most renowned infantries, bringing with it several capabilities to the battlefield. Every Marine is a rifleman, but not every Marine can call themselves an infantryman. But with that said, there are a vast array of jobs and roles, which are officially called Military Occupational Specialties, or MOSs, within the Marine Infantry community. But how many Marine Infantry jobs are out there? And what do each of them do? To answer those questions, we're going to explain each and every single Marine Infantry MOS in numerical order in 16 minutes or less. Whether you're here because you plan on joining, or you're just here for the information, Buckle up, because we've got no time to waste. This is Every Job in the Marine Corps Infantry Explained. MOSs in the Marine Corps are classified as four-digit numbers, with the first two numbers identifying the area or field they work in. The last two numbers specify exactly what capacity they serve in that area. For example, Food Service Marines begin their MOS code with 33, and Food Service Specialists are identified by 88. Thus, a Marine Cook MOS is 3388. With your mini Marine Corps MOS lesson out of the way, let's jump into the Marine Corps Infantry MOSs. They all start with 03, so whenever you see an MOS with that code, you know that's dealing with some sort of infantry job. The first two MOSs of the Marine Infantry are 0300 and 0301, Basic Infantry Marine and Basic Infantry Officer respectively. But these aren't actually jobs per se, they're just designators for those going through infantry training. There's not much to be said about these two, so we will keep trucking along. Next up is the 0302 Infantry Officer. Just as the name would imply, this is an infantry officer of Marines. Infantry officers are the commanders and leaders in infantry and reconnaissance units in Marine Air Ground Task Forces, or MAGTAFs for short. MAGTAFs are pretty complicated, so to keep things simple, they're a term used by the Marine Corps to describe the principal organization for all missions across the range of military operations. Additionally, Marine infantry officers plan, direct, and assist in the deployment and tactical employment of MAGTAFs in any subordinate infantry and reconnaissance units. Among other things, infantry officers are responsible for the discipline, morale, and welfare of their unit's Marines. Cut. Veteran Vinny, what are you doing, man? I don't know, man. I just keep getting distracted. This never used to happen. I was always able to stay focused when narrating these videos. Here, have some of this. What's this? It's Neurogum, the sponsor of this video. Whoa. When you're on the grind, stress, fatigue, and lack of focus can all happen when you least want it to, and sometimes you just need a pick-me-up to maintain a high level of energy and focus. That's where Neuro comes in. Neuro is what you would call functional gum or mints that can provide energy, focus, or calmness whenever you need it. Neuro was developed by former athletes training at the highest level who didn't want to take sketchy supplements or energy drinks when training or studying. Instead of something sugary and ineffective, they wanted to create clean, balanced energy that could be taken anywhere at any time. Neuro has three different formulas. Their energy and focus formula is specially formulated with natural caffeine, L-theanine, and B vitamins to sustain the mental endurance necessary to maintain your focus. Their calm and clarity formula is expertly developed with GABA, vitamin D, and L-theanine to optimize composure and clarity of mind. Their health and vitality formula is specially infused with life-enhancing, immune-boosting vitamins to help strengthen and support your body. And if you use Use our link, tryneurogum.com slash general discharge, which you can find below in the description, pinned comment, or QR code on screen, you'll be able to get up to 20% off your order. That's up to 20% off energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. Plus, it really helps to support the channel. Thank you to Neuro for sponsoring this video. Moving on to the 0303 Light Armored Reconnaissance Officer. Side note, don't confuse Light Armored Reconnaissance with Marine Reconnaissance. While they share similar names, the community communities are very different. With that said, LAR officers lead LAR battalions, which are essentially fast and mobile armored reconnaissance units that conduct reconnaissance and force ahead of the battalion landing teams or division infantry forces. LAR officers plan, direct, and assist in the tactical deployment of these units, evaluate intelligence, and coordinate and execute appropriate
immediate plans to see their missions through. Now we're on to the 0306 Infantry Weapons Officer, more commonly known as the Gunner. Straight up, gunners are badass. If you want a subject matter expert on Marine Corps weapon systems, then find yourself a gunner. They are so knowledgeable that they serve as special staff officers employed as the principal advisor to commanders at all levels. Gunners are chief warrant officers specifically trained in the employment and training of infantry battalion organic weapons, gear, and combat marksmanship. What makes them especially unique is that they replace the chief warrant officer insignia on the left collar with a bursting bomb insignia. Chief warrant officers are unicorns, but gunners in the Marine Corps are the unicorn of unicorns. If you enjoy our content and want to support the channel, please help us reach our goal of 5,000 Facebook followers. If you don't have a Facebook but still want to support us, please consider contributing to us on Patreon, where we have some pretty cool benefits. The links to these will be in the description and pinned comment below. Next up is the 0307 Expeditionary Ground Reconnaissance Officer. These are the officers who lead and run the Marine Reconnaissance Community. Recon Marines are in the the Marine Infantry, but they are classified as a Special Infantry, and more specifically, a Special Operations Capable Asset. We'll touch more on Recon Marines when we get to their enlisted MOS code. Moving on to a well-known MOS in the Marine Corps, the 0311 Rifleman. This job is the primary infantry MOS for the Marine Corps. The Rifleman employed the M4, the M203 Grenade Launcher, and the M27. Riflemen are the primary scouts, assault, and close combat forces available to the MAGTAF. They are the foundation of the Marine Infantry Organization, and as such are the nucleus of the fire team in the rifle squad, the scout team in the LAR squad, and scout snipers in the infantry battalion. Non-commissioned officers are assigned as fire team leaders, scout team leaders, and rifle squad leaders. Next up is the 0313 Light Armored Reconnaissance Marine. Not only are they skilled in infantry, but they are also knowledgeable in armored reconnaissance and surveillance, as well as armored security missions in support of the MAGTAP to gain information on the enemy and terrain. LER Marines operate and are proficient in the use of the 25 Mike Mike chain gun, the coaxial and pintle mounted 762 Mike Mike machine guns, and thermal optics on the LAV-25 variant. LER Marines receive advanced training as vehicle operators, LAV-25 gunners, LER vehicle commanders, and LER master gunners. Now we're on to the 0316 Combat Rubber Reconnaissance Craft Coxswain, or Crick Coxswain for short. Cricks, also called Zodiacs, are small, light weight, inflatable rugged boats used by the Marine Corps for specialized missions. Kirk coxswains are responsible for the safety and conduct of their boat teams in the safe operation, handling, launch, recovery, and maintenance of cricks and their associated equipment and components. This is an additional MOS, meaning it isn't an infantry marine's main job. Next up is the 0317 Scout Sniper. Yeah, yeah, the Marine Corps made the decision to get rid of the Scout Snipers, but we're still putting them on this video because why not? The Scout Sniper is a secondary MOS. Scout snipers provide close reconnaissance and surveillance to the infantry battalion, and are highly skilled in fieldcraft and marksmanship who deliver long-range precision fire on selected targets from concealed positions in support of combat operations. They also gather information for intelligence purposes and participate in activities designed to deny the enemy freedom of movement by targeting enemy leaders, weapons operators, radio men, observers, messengers, and other key personnel. Moving on to yet another well-known MOS in the Marine Corps. The 0321 Reconnaissance Marine is quite literally the eyes and ears of the Marine Corps. Recon Marines provide combatant commanders with the intelligence and surveillance they need to accomplish the mission at hand. As a special infantry, they are tasked with conducting multi-domain reconnaissance for the ground combat element in the Marine Corps. What this essentially means is that by methods of land, air, or sea, a recon Marine will observe enemy activity and report any pertinent information back to combatant commanders. They are masters of getting eyes on and the information they gather can range from defense positions, troop movements, logistical data, you name it. Recon Marines have the opportunity to get jump and dive qualified, as well as sniper qualified with the newer Recon Sniper course. As such, there are a few other MOS designators for them that identify which qualifications they have. There's 0323 Parachute Qualified Recon Marine, 0324 Combatant Diver Qualified Recon Marine, 0326 Parachute and Combatant Diver Qualified Recon Marine, and an unofficial 
MOS that's yet to be approved, which is the Reconnaissance Sniper. Now on to another core infantry MOS, the O331 Machine Gunner. Also known as 31s by those they work alongside with, machine gunners are responsible for the tactical employment of the 762 Mike Mike Medium Machine Gun, the 50 Cal, and 40 Mike Mike Heavy Machine Gun. They provide direct fire in support of the infantry rifle squadrons, platoons, and companies. They are placed within the weapons platoon of the Rifle and Weapons Company and the Infantry Battalion. Next up is an honorable mention, the U.S. Navy Hospital Corpsman. For those who aren't familiar, it might seem surprising that we're shouting out a job from the Navy in this video, but it will all make sense in a moment. The Marine Corps does not have its own medical personnel, and because it's a part of the Department of the Navy, guess who's alongside them everywhere they go? That's right, Navy Hospital Corpsman. Whether it's infantry, recon, MARSOC, you name it, wherever the Marines are, a corpsman is right there with them. Now for another core infantry MOS, the O341 Mortarman. Mortarmen are responsible for the tactical employment of the M224 60 Mike Mike Light Mortar and M252 81 Mike Mike Medium Mortar. They provide indirect fire in support of other infantry assets. Mortarmen are proficient in mortar gunnery, tactical combat casualty care, crew drills, and patrolling through high stress environments. Let's move on to the O352 Anti Tank Missile Gunner. Anti Tank Missile Gunners specialize in the employment of anti tank missile weapon systems and heavy crew served weapons such as the TOW Weapon System and Javelin Weapon System in the M240. They can be primarily found in combined anti-armor teams and frequently serve as a quick reaction force to assist troops in contact. This MOS is extremely versatile for an infantry MOS. In fact, some highly skilled Marines in this job may get selected to learn how to fly UAVs and can even become a JFO or JTAC. Next up is the O363 Light Armored Reconnaissance Unit Leader. LAR unit leaders are the enlisted technical and tactical advisor to the LAR unit commander. Essentially, think of them as the right-hand man for assisting leadership with all aspects of planning, logistical support, and administrative stuff. Now for the O365 Infantry Squad Leader. As the name would suggest, they lead infantry squads. This MOS can be created through riflemen, machine gunners, mortarmen, or anti-tank missile gunners. In layman's terms, you can think of them as being promoted to a manager within their squad. Infantry squad leaders plan for assignment missions and carry out the orders issued by the platoon commander. They're also responsible for taking care of their squad at all times. In combat, they're responsible for the tactical employment and leverage of the squad. These leaders will be placed in squad billets based on their original MOS proficiency and strength. Next on the shelf is the O367 Light Armored Reconnaissance Master Gunner. The LAR Master Gunner is tasked with the training and employment of the LAR Battalion organic weapons, gear, and assigned personnel. They also help design and vet the gunnery and training policies of the commander and help them to disseminate information to the unit's personnel regarding such policies. They generate and quantify reports on the unit's technical and tactical gun proficiency and brief the unit commander as to where each subordinate unit sits in regards to his intent. In other words, they're subject matter experts who do a lot of administrative stuff. Now for the O369. Nice. Infantry Unit Leader. The Infantry Unit Leader is responsible to the commander and assists in the planning, training, deployment, and employment of all infantry organic weapon systems and the unit's combat power capabilities. They supervise and coordinate the preparation and assignment of personnel and equipment in accordance with the unit standards. Now for a couple even more badass ones. The O370 and O372 Special Operations Officer and Critical Skills Operator. These two MOSs are your Marine Raiders and MARSOC. While Marine Raiders don't operate within the Marine Infantry and instead work under SOCOM, they're still O3 Series Marines, so we gladly threw them on this list. MARSOC Marines are the only Special Operations Force the Marine Corps has, so what they do is very unique to the Marine Corps. Their main missions are direct action, special reconnaissance, counter-terrorism, foreign internal defense, security force assistance, counterinsurgency, support to WMDs, and unconventional warfare. All in all, Marine Raiders execute complex, distributed operations in uncertain environments, achieving silent success and strategic impact. Second to last is the O393 Light Armored Reconnaissance Operations Chief. The LER Ops Chief serves as the senior enlisted tactical advisor to the commander and staff of a LER company or battalion, so any oversight, admin work, and management of the enlisted personnel will be under this guy. And last but not least, the O399 Operations Chief. The Operations Chief is responsible to the commander 
commander and assists in all levels of planning, training, development, deployment, and employment of MAGTAF capabilities. They also facilitate and develop concepts of employment for new and emerging technologies fielded to the Marine Corps, and establish operation posts, supervise information management, and assist in operation of unit command and control. With every Marine Infantry MOS covered, just keep in mind that if you plan on joining the Marine Corps to serve in the infantry, not all of these MOSs are available to you off the bat. Many of the MOSs discussed today are secondary MOSs or are only available to those who served for years and ranked up in their respective areas. So don't expect that after boot camp you can request to become an 0399 and the Marine Corps will immediately make you an operations chief. But with every Marine Infantry MOS covered, which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section below, we'd love to hear it. Well, that is the down and dirty of every Marine Infantry MOS. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A special thank you to all of our supporters in our Patreon and YouTube membership. If you'd like to be featured in our videos, consider joining and go check out the links in our description below. Your contribution is greatly appreciated and will help us create more great content. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.